All right, everyone, welcome back to the 5A Show, episode 175, myself and Dante. And this week we are joined by special guests, Lindsay and Craig Kilgo, owners of Iron Podium. Thanks for coming on, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, great to be here. So um, you guys said you're from Richmond, Virginia. Mm-hmm. What? So how, how did Iron Podium start? Because I wanted to save all these questions for when we were actually recording because I'm super curious. But yeah. how did it start? So I've been competing in strongman for a while and um, I took a break when we had our kids and my first competition back, um, you know, I'd been coaching some athletes for powerlifting and strongman and I knew for powerlifting, there was a, a lot of new technology that allowed for live scoring that allowed for a little bit more organized um, you know, online meet directing. And so when I'm at the strongman competition five years ago, um, you know, it, things are taking a long time. And I just, <laughs> I know that there is a better way. Um, and Craig is a programmer. And so I just looked at him. I'm just tired. We're <laughs> in hour five and we still have like two events left yeah. and scoring is really a big holdup. So I just look at him tired and I go, can we make this like, <laughs> please can we make this for strong man? And, um, we had a three hour drive home. And by the time we had gotten home, we had the bones of iron podium kind of already figured out and we started development <laughs> and we got it up and running pretty quickly after that. That's funny. That's, that's where we do so much of our brainstorming too, is that ride home. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you got like that, like four or five hour ride, like Dante and I have talked about like okay. every show idea and stuff like that, you know? Um, but that's really cool. I think it's, I think it's unique and special for Dante and I actually, because we have been in strongman long enough now to actually see the start of iron podium, like right. Kind of when we came in is when you guys started like five I think My first comp was, 2017 or 2018 2018 i think and then and dante actually did a, a comp before me that and so we've been kind of since you guys have started and i every meet we've d- promoted we've used iron podium so i can't imagine not using it talking a little bit offline about that but um so so it just came from kind of a necessity um and like i, I was telling you guys i urge a lot of meat directors, not everyone's tech savvy. I'm really bad with tech stuff. Um, and I, I really urge a lot of promoters to use it if they're not already. I, I believe so for, for United States strongman. I mean, I do any federation, but on, on the promoting side, is it required for USS people to like direct promoters to use iron podium? Yes. Okay. So it's their standard. They, everyone uses it. Yeah. I would love to I would love to see everyone be on board and use it because we'll talk about your guys' new feature, Iron Podium Premium, but um but yeah, I, I just think from like you guys can speak on it obviously because it's your baby, but I I have my meat director like profile pulled up right now and just the amount of things that you can do on it, like you might think, hey, I got it all covered and you might, but anyone that's run a show or did a show they know like day of is like murphy's law whatever can go wrong is going to go wrong gotta expect for the worst and like for me being able to go in and just like for example we have a show coming up in six weeks and it's our big show every year i can communicate and send an email to all competitors right um i can easily export my t-shirt thing like i send that to the people that do our t-shirt company so like kind of everything i do from like our meets starts at iron podium and works its way out so i actually you guys help me out a lot you know with that stuff um but like can you guys just share like a couple other like cool features that like promoters can use like day of before after stuff like that yeah so um you know I was actually in event promoting for a little bit um, for the American Diabetes Association um, back, you know, years ago and picked up different things with logistics. And I think that kind of carried over because we were really looking at how does somebody want their day of event to run, you know, smoothly from start to finish. And 
it starts with the registration. It starts with all the data that you collect there. You know, you need to make sure that you have the t-shirt sizes. You need to make sure that everybody's in their correct weight class, that you can communicate effectively the rules. You can communicate the events. Um, so, you know, I mean, we created the whole weight table, um, for different, different purposes, um, different weight classes, obviously we tried to stay true to what's out there as far as USS and strongman corp. Uh, but then you can create custom weight classes because we know people want to use it for different types of events that are unsanctioned. Um, do you want to speak on some different? Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. the, well, a hidden feature, I think a lot of people don't know is, you know, if you are, let's say you're a meat director and you're, you know, toying around with uh, maybe a yoke and you're not sure how heavy to make it, you know, go into the archives and search for completed events. Just put yoke in the search bar and all the events that had a yoke in it will pop up. So then yep. you can go see, oh, okay, well, this meet for, you know, the 175 open men, they did the yoke at 850. You know what I mean? So you can kind of get a, a sense of where things are. And a lot of that was thinking about the old days when, you know, you would just find a meet on Facebook, like that was all you could do. Mm -hmm. And like, you would just hope, oh, did the meet director like put a spreadsheet up of their weights like a week before the event? You know what I mean? So right. a lot of it was based out of, well, here's when we run meets, here's all the things we like, um, you know, and, and Lindsay's been an event promoter since, uh, 2019 also mm -hmm. you know yeah. so we try to dog food the app as well yeah well you guys are like a perfect match for iron podium you got the program yeah. and like the event program yeah. competitor like you guys are the perfect package to do it i think that is an amazing point um um because i've gone in so many times when i like i don't know what to make a weight and I'm like, okay, search sandbag toss, whatever. And I'm like, okay, this was a little too heavy for this class. We're going to bring that down five pounds, whatever. And like, you can really kind of like almost like collect your own data and see, do you want it to be a heavy event? Do you want it, people to get eight to 10 reps? So when, you know, and just kind of, so I'm glad you said that because that's an awesome, that's an awesome feature. Um, I, I think uh, my favorite thing about it uh, from the promoter standpoint is the PDF section. Oh, uh, yeah. Being, just because like me trying to make this stuff, I, I would just, <laughs> I would just, I actually, we did run one unsanctioned comp in 2020 before we were like running. We knew even like really what sanctioned comps were, but like, I would just literally type everything out into a word document, like, like just handwrite everything. So being able to have the score sheets, the check-in sheets, all that stuff, like, Definitely if you're a promoter, look at that because it can really make your day a lot easier. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely. The And the cool thing to me is that you can stick almost anyone at the computer day of almost, every, not just, not everyone, but very close and have the st scores updated live. And I think – Live streams can be expensive for some people and they may not have the means to do it. And just to be able to have an updated score sheet for mom, dad, grandma, and uncle is a very cool feature. Just just so they can at least pop in and say, hey, look, my nephew's in second place, whatever, you know. So definitely okay. cool. Since day one, one of the things that we've said is that we're always here to help. And even now with, you know, 16 events running some weekends, if there's a problem with the scoreboard and you email us or call us, we're there and we can get it fixed. You know, we know that um, sometimes one of the things people run into, if you have to switch somebody's weight class, if you don't do it uh, until after the meet started, your scoreboard goes blank um, because the data, you know, it doesn't cross that way. It should, you know, it shouldn't, you should be switching your people before you start your meet. Um, but we can fix that. So if something happens and maybe you have somebody entering the scores that doesn't know or isn't aware of different you know, weight classes and can't catch that before they start entering, if you email us or call us, I mean, we're, we're available and we're checking our emails and we're watching out for the phone calls still you know, every yeah. Saturday. So Yeah, that kind of sucks for you guys because Strongman's only on Saturdays pretty much. But I can actually attest to that and say they're not lying because I think... 
I think I've had to call you guys twice for comp stuff, and you guys have answered both times. Uh, when I was, I believe I was a state chair at two separate meets, and I think, you know, it was just kind of like hectic with how the promoter was had things set up, and we just need a couple small changes, and you guys were there. So I can attest to that being true. So that's really cool. It sucks for being on. I'm I'm on call with my prof like my pro career as well. So uh, I get the calls on the weekend can suck, but yeah. Um. Well, let's talk about a debated, highly discussed thing in strongman right now with the Iron Podium Premium. Iron Podium Premium. Oh, I got it now. Yeah, you got yeah. it. We're talking about how it's literally the most tongue-tied thing ever. Um. So go ahead and just speak on what it is, what the idea is behind it, you know, and, you know, just go, go on about it. Sure. So it is a, subs a subscription-based service um, that provides premium features. Uh, we broke it down for podium score, podium level, participation statistics, performance percentiles, a leaderboard, and a premium scoreboard. And all of these premium features, they're based around helping athletes identify their performance in the strongman community across everyone in Iron Podium. Yeah, so we're talking about, you know, using a little bit of the data that's there for Iron Podium before when we're talking about like, oh, you can go look up all the meets that had yoke and, and their weights. And I feel like one of the things that we were thinking about when we were developing the set of features was how do we give people like more access to their underlying data that's stored in Iron Podium? Yeah, for sure. No, I, I think it's cool to see like, uh, cause you guys sent me like my stats and, and also we should, we should go back a little bit. And I do want to say, I think there was a little confusion, not, and I don't think it was on your guys, but when you start having such a used product, like your guys is, and then you throw in five ninety nine or whatever, it turns into like, Oh, like almost like the telephone game. Like, Oh, did you see iron podium charging five ninety nine five nine? you know, and that I'm sure that's probably pretty frustrating for you guys because it's, it's an, it, I long way of saying it's an added feature that you can subscribe to and you don't have to. Like yes, correct. It, it's something that if you want to see your scores, everything like that. And there, I will say there are some pretty cool things. Like you guys sent me the dashboard for my profile, which I really appreciate. And it's like, uh, it tells me the number of States I've competed at on iron podium shows. Um, it's just cool. Like, you know, if you've been doing it for five, 10 years, look back and like, Hey, I'm in this for events, for reps, events, for time events, for, and I do think like, uh, and I, I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but like as it continues and grows like any product, like you might find things like, hey, maybe we can add this. Maybe exactly. this is something we didn't, you know, it's, exactly. it's like anything, you know, when you start it, it's not hopefully in a year or two, it's even better. Right. Yeah. So like we that's actually, probably the goal. Yeah. We actually already have, you know, one feature that we're going to roll out soon um, that has to do with social media. We want to figure out how to help people kind of connect with each other on social media. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be developing a feature on the leaderboard that allows people to post their social media account links if they want to. Um, oh, so we're definitely, you know, we're definitely going to develop it still and we're not going to raise the rate. We're not going to raise the price. And we're also never going to charge for our original iron podium product. You know, that's not right. who we are. That's not what we're in this for. You know, I, I will say, I'll say it. I say it to lots of people, but I absolutely believe in life. People should be paid for their work that they do. Um, I, you know, I live that with people around me, people that do work for me, any business I, you know, go to. Um, and so in this situation, Iron Podium Premium, you know, we spent time and energy and effort in developing this premium level product based on data that we've collected over five years from another product that we spent time, energy de developing, maintaining, um, and continuing to add on to. Um, so, you know, the 599 we feel is a fair, you know, offering, especially because it's completely optional. Um, there's no commitment. And if you want to just do a month and see your scores and then do another month, you know, we, we, 
we think that's absolutely fine. You know, it's not something that we feel like people should um, necessarily have to be committed to for no, any right. of time, you know? Well, that, okay. That's what I really like about it is that there's no, you're not handcuffed. And that like, if Dante signs up for a show, he is not hindered in any bit whatsoever. Like if he does want to do Iron Podium Premium, that's great. Um, I'm, I'm just going to call it premium the rest of the okay, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I, I, geez, I'm like trying to, um, um, but if Dante wants to sign up for premium, he can, but if he wants to sign up for the show, that's an hour from his house and just compete as a strongman competitor, but still utilize like he, more than, more than welcome. So that, that's what I, I do like about it is that it's an added feature that is that people value and you guys put that time into. So charge money, like. You know, that's, you should, um, but yeah, yeah. It, I just, I, I liked it doesn't hinder anyone, I guess is what I'm saying, you know, definitely. And nothing that was previously free is going to go behind a paywall. Um, and there'll be new features rolled out to iron podium, you know, just like there'll be new features rolled out to iron podium premium in the future. Mm -hmm. That social media one is super smart because like from a business standpoint, cause strong men love to creep on each other. <laughs> like how many times have I like, copy and paste it at another dude's name from like <laughs> the iron podium page. And then just search, like I do Google and then I just type in strong man. If I can't find him on Instagram, like I think everyone kind of creeps like that. So well, be that was one, I mean, that's one of the big inspirations also for like the premium scoreboard. So if you're a member, you know, you sign oh, in to the scoreboard and now you see everyone's, you know, color level, you know, yeah. uh, gold, silver, platinum, bronze, you know, that are in your weight class. So, Maybe yeah. it even saves you some time for Googling, uh, you know, how much someone did a yoke last week. Yeah. So how do you see? So. OK, do you care if I do you care if I ask some questions from people that yeah. have yeah. questions? Because yeah. we had a, we had a decent amount of questions. Um, that one's not. OK, so the points at the top. So podium score. So like mine, for example, is says 400. Right. How do, how does that number, like, how do you get your score on Iron Podium? So, I mean, I'll just start with saying, obviously, it's like more complicated than, for example, powerlifting, right? Sure. And um, I think that's, you know, probably one of the reasons it's not done often or before. I mean, the only thing that we can really even reference is static monsters, right? And um, they can only do it by narrowing it down to just two events. Um, so we did have to create a way to compare, you know, five different events at each competition that could be completely different from five events at another competition. Um, so the way we did that is initially you're actually only compared to the people in your competitions. What that does is your performance. So say you get in there, you're against five other guys and you smoke them right? You get something called a Z-score. So how much do you beat the other competitors or the average of the other competitors? Mm -hmm. um, or if you, know, if you do poorly, it goes the opposite, obviously. But um, so then that number is your Z-score. And then we can compare Z-scores across everybody in Iron Podium. So um, that's kind of the basis of where the math starts to that okay. kind yeah. of describe okay. that. Craig's yeah, so like, you, yeah, Craig's Craig's like way more in the weeds with it, but yeah, no, I I get it. He, yeah, yeah. So you're only ever you know looking at your performance against the other people that competed at that exact meet in that exact event that you did. Right. Okay. So it's not like we look at log. You know, we try to do like, oh, look at all the meets that have log in the you know event title, and then see the scores there. Okay. So so it is. So it's just against your people. Yeah. Correct. So everybody would have the same implement. Okay. Everybody would have the same weight. You know, that's the only fair way to do it Yeah. to get, yeah. To get that Z score. Yeah. Because like I, I I've heard people being like, well, it's trying to create like a dots for strong man. And I just truthfully think like dots is like in pot. And I think you guys kind of like admitted that like, it's almost, I don't even think, and correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think you guys are trying to do that. Right. Like I, I, I mean, it's a decent, it's a good way to compare yourself, but it's not like uh, a dots because it's, it's the sport of like, like 
not being standardized. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, uh, right. Exactly. I, I, I get what you guys are saying that you can only compare yourself against the people. Cause it's even if like, you know, what's crazy about strong man, even if like, say Craig and I were going head to head at, I mean, not head to head, but we were doing a show on the same day and had the same weights. There can be so many variables still mm -hmm. with a different log, different mm -hmm. stone, everything. So, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then that's why performance or participation statistics become important as well. Um, because if you're comparing, say you're at a competition and you're only against two other people, it could look like you really, really outperform them. But the reason is, you know, maybe those two people, you know, aren't the best performers, right? So then taking your participation into account, when you look at the number of people you've competed against, that number will be two. And so you are, you know, we do take that into account. That's why points are kind of given for your performance as well as your participation to kind of even that um, playing field. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, the number one question I got, and I think like four people asked this or five people is novice versus open in the rankings. Because if, if you don't know strong man, I, I don't know who would be listening that doesn't my in-laws and my parents, I guess, but <laughs> not novice is the beginners and open is the competitive class. Um, so how, so I'm sure Craig has some crazy equation or something like that, but I, it's, it's not even that crazy. It's, you know, after I figure out how many standard deviations above the average uh, for that event for, you know, that you did, if you are novice, you actually get kicked off 0.3 standard deviations. So it's effectively an adjustment that makes it well, like, if this novice were in an open, they actually wouldn't have done that well, you know, they would have done a little bit worse than they did here. Um, so that's basically how we adjust for an open weight class is is harder to perform in uh, than a novice. And pro, on the other hand, actually gets a plus up a little bit. So if you do, oh, okay. do if you do one ball. standard deviation above the average in a pro event, you actually then get a little more. Gotcha. Yeah, that's okay, cool. that's cool. So is that so okay, like you said, I'm not great with this stuff, but how so how do you come up with the point three standard deviation? Like how, okay, so, how like how uh, does that that work? So yeah. Um basically I looked at all the numbers. I went through every single 17,000 competitors <laughs> and I am, you know, involved in the community in this area. Um, and obviously we go to nationals. And so I compared a lot of people I know myself personally, um, nationals level athletes. We looked at everything and it, when we started taking the, the standard deviations away, that's when that's how we were able to tell about what would be the right decrease in oh. performance. Yeah. So when, yeah. And one of the questions I think that showed up was like, can this help with the perma novice problem? Mm -hmm. uh, which we definitely think. Okay, that, yeah. yeah, that, that was uh, actually, yeah, that was a question. Yeah. Cause that. if we kind of, we kind of calibrated it such that, you know, if you're a meat director and you have iron podium premium and you can see everyone's levels, you know, bronze, silver, gold, if you have won a novice comp, you know, a novice meet, you're probably, or one, if you have won multiple novice meets, you're definitely going to make your way up to gold. So if you're a meat director and you see someone register for novice and they're already gold, like that should be a signal to you that like, Hey, why don't you go check on this person's previous results? Cause they yeah. might not be eligible, you know, and a, a lot of times the meat direct novice at any meet is kind of up to the discretion of the meat director usually. Um, right. So that can be a signal to them. Hey, check this person out. They might need to go ahead and move up to open. Yeah. So maybe. I could, yeah, I could see. Uh, that's a really good point to help help promote it. I could see this like as it continues to to get better and better and grow and grow throughout the years to like really find like fill in holes that like that for an example like Sean Sean Schellinger he's he's a buddy he's. Uh, really good super heavyweight strongman. He's he asked if there was a future like in the future a possibility to track records because um, strongman we're not very great at 
the between the federations, you're like on like night your nineteenth tab trying to find what the record is for deadlift mm-hmm. and whatever state. You know what I mean? So like something like that. I mean, I get you know you're not gonna have all the strongman corp stuff, but um, it I it that that just led into another what what Craig said kind of led into another thought and another question that someone asked. So yeah, we're definitely we're always looking at developing and adding new things and we're open to people reaching out to us and suggesting. So if they have a, you know, an idea, um, you know, always feel free to email us or message, message us on social media. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's awesome. Like I said, like I said before, like, I don't think anything, any product starts perfect by any means, like, and, and, and I'm not saying it's not a really good idea and product, but I'm saying just, you continuously innovate and like, Hey, this random person from Idaho sent us this idea Mm -hmm. because they did a show. And that's like the sickest idea ever. Like, (laughs) let's do that. Like it's, it's a no brainer. Just think that's one cool thing about strongman is like, like Dante had the other, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, randomly thought of a good medley idea that I'd never seen done. And uh, I was like, oh my God, that's like the coolest idea ever. And I'm not going to say it on here because I don't want anyone to do it. <laughs> yeah. really no, we it. can't release it just yet. But, but like probably next year we're going to do it in a show. So, but like, yeah, it's just, that's the cool thing about the community is brainstorming. And like, I do get very annoyed in strongman when it's like the pilot piling on like gossipy stuff with like can happen when people like you guys are like super accessible. It seems like, at least via email or, you know, whatever. So it's like, if you do have an issue or you think something should be improved, I mean, at least instead of making like a really shitty passive aggressive post, you know, maybe <laughs> just reach out, you know, that's what I, I, I do that quite often. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think no, what it, would the internet be without passive aggressive? No, for, <laughs> for sure. I get it. it. It has its, it has its place. I get it. So should you guys go to USS Nationals every year and do the, you guys actually do the scores? Mm-hmm. Yep, we run the scores every year. I got my my best friend, one of my best friends is my numbers guy for uh, all my comps. He doesn't do strongman. He's never done strongman, but he comes and he's a volunteer at all my shows and he does all the numbers for the shows and he loves Iron Podium. So maybe nice. I'll get him to listen to this episode actually because I don't <laughs> think he's ever listened to pod. So um yeah, he's you should have invited yeah, him on. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. I should have invited Shane because it's it's like a running joke with our shows now that he's like our numbers guy. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, is there is there anything that like that you guys would want or have been seeing or anything like that you guys would want to like kind of clear the air on? Or I mean, I think you've done a really good job so far. But like, is there anything else you guys have heard that you're like, oh man, this really sucks? Like. Um, you know, we'd like to clear the air on it or, or just clarify it. I mean, I think just again, that we are not planning to charge anything for our podium, the original services, you know, we've heard the word money grab (laughs) and to be honest, I don't even know what that means. Cause like, (laughs) what? but, um, you know, that's not it for us. We love strongman and we really we're looking for ways to engage the strongman community, to improve the strongman community, to allow for things that other strength sports have, like being able to see where you stand, you know, nationally against other people. So, you know, that's the type of stuff that we are wanting to do with this new product. Yeah. And we're not, you know, your iron podium score, it's not meant to try to quantify you as a strong man or, or your worth, you know, really, we just hope it it makes it fun for the the kind of people that like, you know, quantifying stuff about their performance and they like gamifying what they're up to, you know, hopefully people subscribe and they really like it and it makes strong man even more fun to participate in. That's awesome. Well, we, we appreciate you guys coming on and kind of, cause it was like, it's almost like every episode since it happened that we were at least getting like one or two questions about it. So I'm glad that we were able to have you guys on. Mm-hmm. I think this is like a unique, fun, different, different style episode. Like it's, it's pretty cool. Um, Dante, did you have anything? I mean, I know we, we kind of covered 
I think we did a really good job of covering a lot of it. Was there anything um, that came to your mind from like, you do it more from the user standpoint, but you are more of like our tech guy too. So uh, is there anything that came up that we didn't talk about? Not really. It's just really interesting to consider. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just I like I like the idea of being able to like see where you stand, I guess, without actually like, even, having to creep on everybody. You, they sent you your stuff before the episode. Yeah, they too. did send me this stuff. I didn't really get a chance right. to look it over too much, but yeah, you're waiting well. for the sandwiches. I know these <laughs> sandwiches. Are you, are you competing anytime soon? Uh, I'm not competing this year. I turn forty next year, so I'm oh, cool. I'm holding out for. For our master's level. <laughs> oh, there you go. Craig, you yeah. compete at all? Uh, I have never competed in strongman. Really? Uh, yeah. When we met, I was doing a lot of Olympic weightlifting. Um, and so she actually took a course that I was an assistant coach at. Um, so oh, wow. I've never done a strongman competition. And that's how you guys met? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Programmer, competitor, and get married, meet at a lifting thing. That's a that's pretty cool. How long have you guys been together? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, uh, we had our 10 year wedding anniversary. Oh, wow. Year. Oh, that's pretty cool. I yeah. feel like Craig has to do a strongman comp though. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's just like, I feel like it's, I mean, I, I know he's good with all the numbers and everything, but I feel like he's got to jump into a show. Eventually. <laughs> so, maybe maybe, maybe battle we'll sign him up for one of your shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, there we yeah. go. There we go. We love it. But uh, man, thank you guys so much, and and we really appreciate the time. And like they said, they're they're very accessible. I can speak for Iron Podium because I've used it so many times, and I've helped at shows where and I think it's a huge asset. Um, so if you have constructive criticism, please, you know, don't be don't be super mean to them and be like Josh said on the pod. I can be mean to them, but like you know, <laughs> if you do have constructive criticism, I think that's good. So yeah, or questions, yeah, or suggestions. Yeah. You know, send it on in to us. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, Do you guys, I mean, definitely just follow the Iron Podium Instagram page. We'll have that up on the screen. Do you guys have any other social medias, like anything like that? You want to plug? No, just the Facebook. There's a Facebook Iron Podium page too for people that still do Facebook. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. It's funny because... You can tell the older, I'm not not trying to be mean, but the older promoters that still only post updates in the event page, mm-hmm. even though the show is on Iron Podium and there's a button that literally says communicate. Like, because it's funny, when we first started, it was still in that Facebook era. Mm-hmm. And our one buddy who's always on here, he's the other host of the pod. His name's Jason Frawley. He doesn't have Facebook and he's never has. And it's like his biggest gripe about Strongman is that they post every Because Dante and I would be giving updates for a show we were all doing yep. from what was posted in the Facebook page to Frawley. So, yeah, it's definitely... Definitely. Yeah, I'm I'm from the Facebook mail in a check era. Yeah. Like that's mail where I started. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, but ma- thank you guys so much for the time. We really appreciate. It. Thank you coming on for clearing that stuff up, and so I don't have to guess when I answer stuff now too to people. So thank you guys all so much. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you all for episode one seventy six. Peace. Awesome. Bye. Thanks.